Seen worker here on DDS stream. It's the first of December. Time has flown. I am currently working, um, which is why I'm starting a little bit later. I want to get this test started. Get all the users ramped up and all that. So, let's see. It seems to be going okay so far. Give it a couple more minutes to settle in a little bit, and then I'll get started with uh, DDO. So, yeah, I am here. I tweeted out earlier, a little bit late. I said last week I might be a little bit late. And I am pretty zoned from uh, working late last night. Started around 5 p.m. last night and ended around 3 a.m. Hopefully I can get to bed earlier tonight. And uh, if I'm late to the office in the morning, that'll be okay. But uh, yeah, we're running a test in production, which of course isn't recommended, but sometimes it's the way things happen. And uh, so we have to wait for most of today's business to be closed before we uh, start running. All right. I think I'll go ahead and switch over a little early. Oops. And that isn't on. There we go. So, yeah. Um, hi. I'm on Shaw. And I got in on a little bit of a giant hold with the bonus, the group bonus. So that got me pretty far up here over the weekend. And I think I'm going to polish off a couple more giant hold things. I don't really don't like giant hold. And then I may go over into the Archon stuff and see how that goes. There isn't anything in the LFMs that I care to do. So, oh yeah, I gotta finish Scorpion. I bought the uh, starter pack, that's right, I forgot about that. So, somewhere in here, there it is. I can get rid of that. That's better. And let's see, I think I repaired last time. Let's make sure. And yeah, just checking the stream again, make sure everything looks good. It looks goodish, good enough. Let's go, let's see, what are my, yeah, my resistances are low. Go ahead and do that. We'll head out to the hold. Let's get these last couple giant hold ones knocked off for the saga. And then I'll probably just... VIP skip tour. I was watching Gary playing Musk earlier, and that was fun. Interesting build. Let me check this real quick while I'm here. Three out of five, one out of two. So yeah, these two, and then I'll skip tour, and then I'll add the saga. That's cool. Um, I don't know offhand. Steam sales are over. 
I'm looking up real quick uh, which thing to far shift to for those two. It's foundation and feast, I think, the two. I really don't know, John. I did get the explorers the other day just so it'd be easier to find stuff. Feaster's Famine is up there. Is that one of them? Go look again. Yeah, my brain's pretty fried from lack of sleep or regular meals and screwed up schedule. So Foundation is the one all the way up there and Feast is the one that's right here. So let's go Storm's Eye and do Foundation. That sounds better to start with. Foundation of Discord. I said that was I, right? I would really like there to be some spoiler text so you understand better which one goes to which quests. I'd also like there to be ones that just take you directly to the quest. That would be cool too. Take care of these jerks, and then finally remember to turn stuff on, which I did not remember to do earlier. Um, yeah, it should be good. And why am I not seeing chat? There we go. Hey, Mr. Gimp, how's it going? <clears throat> I've also been playing the new uh, Legend of Dungeon uh, streaming content thing, which is cool. It's kind of like a Choice Chamber where a person's playing on Twitch. You can watch, then you can send them supplies or send them mobs to uh, try to kill or try to kill them, whichever you want to do. It's fun. The long history of mankind is told in these Yeah, it was okay. Um, the highlight was the SO's pies, which we still are not eating those pies. We're not quite done yet. Finished off the cranberry cherry the other day. Finished off the cheesecake yesterday. Or is that today? No, I finished up the cheesecake today, and I still have pumpkin left to do. But yeah, it's, that was good. The rest of it was okay. Went over to a friend's place, and it was decent. Not really my style, though. It's kind of funny how there can be so many different styles of Thanksgiving meals. But uh, there are. That just wasn't my style. I don't like garlic mashed potatoes. They didn't have some other stuff that I normally have. The turkey was a little dry. So, it was okay. It was somewhat fun hanging out once some of the people left and it wasn't quite so insanely crowded. They have kind of a small place, and they had a lot of people. So, it was a bit much. But hey, at least they weren't my family, and I didn't have to deal with that. Getting close to about half my users are on the test. How about y'all? Your holiday feast. For those of you who had a holiday. USians. Hey Cordovan, how's it going? Corderman was streaming quite a bit from home. 
cuts of the podcast. Some other things that were happening here and there. Uh, this is the one where you keep going. Splitting, okay. No worries. That's what happens when you take the bard out first. You get all tricksy and stuff. Yeah, if I'm distracted, it's because I'm checking work while I'm. Uh, it's good spots to do so. I much prefer my normal, regular shift than having to do this weird night stuff. Hey, Ackman, how's it going? Oh, I'm doing well this evening. Yeah, they see me and just lie down. Like, yeah, I don't want to get by him. We'll just lie down. Maybe he won't hurt us. So I was reading the forums about people doing uh, int-based warlocks for the extra spell power. I thought it was an interesting concept. Not so worried about DCs and more worried about damage output. Why did you do that? I hate screensavers. I really do. I'm running an eight hour test. I don't need to have to move the mouse every 15 minutes just to keep the screensaver up. But thank you, corporate policy. So I might experiment with that at some point. Yeah, Shirati is pretty much the mo major damage dealing, extra procs. Destiny for casters and ranged, I would say. Pretty sure my search sucks. Hey, Red Patty, how's it going? Yep, it does. Hope you're doing well this evening. One of those things where if you want that extra little bit of damage, you can go that way, or if you want the extra constant damage, you go like Draconic or Magister or something. But uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this particular one at this point. Three champs at once. Mm. Love it. So they were talking about uh, bonus days on the podcast the other day, and I chimed in with, what I want to see is double champion weekends. 
Honestly, twice as many champions. Because when champions first came out, I loved how it really made things feel more like I was playing Elite. And they got nerfed a little too far, I think, still. So I'd like to bring some of that difficulty back. Oh, look, a CPH. Ain't that fun. I got a CPH in a champion chest. <laughs> oh. For how rare those used to be for me, I seem to be getting an awful lot now. Awful lot. Uh, now we go to the center. <laughs> nice. More XP. Good. I have to see what I can do about getting into Epic soon. I really want to uh, beat the whole next update rush. Get this first iconic life out of the way before then. It's possible if there's enough good bonus weekends that I'm actually playing during. It's always tricky with holidays. So we'll see. Oh good, I got Ransack. Step back for a minute. Um, let me check the build. What the build says. The build actually says Unyielding Sentinel. I'll paste that there for you. That's the build I'm basically basing this off of. I'm not necessarily following it exactly, but that's what I'm basing it off of at the moment. Oh, I was gonna blah. I was gonna do that and that and that that and a little bit of that. And then I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm running right now. I tested it out on Argo and thought it was pretty fun to play, so when I TR'd, I went ahead and did it. It's just kind of ridiculous and self-healing to get and all that. Oh, hey, somebody joined. That's cool.
That dude is a real jerk. Where is the other? Oh, there he is. Ah. Dude was bothering me. Yay, loot. See, uh, communion of scribing is really freaking powerful. Um, Self heal, which is awesome, and then since you have shining through. You know, it's just kind of ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and recall, I think. We have become wicked and worthless. This world would be better off without us. I did uh, Mired and Kobolds at level elite and didn't really have a problem killing both dragons. So the Mama Dragon was level 30 and it took a while, but there was no problems. It just took some time. I was only nearly in trouble once, I think. That was because I got knocked down right as I was he trying to heal and shining through had worn off. Where am I trying to go? I'm trying to go there. I really don't know my way around trying to hold. Is it this one? Yep, this hide away may keep the orcs safe, but there is no land big enough for my kind. Our safety must be carved out by sword and blood. What blood have I shed? My memories are lost. He did catch up with me. Hmm. Too bad for him. He would have lived had he not. Oh good, all my users are on. That's good. And here we go. I still need to do something about my desk. The orc you spoke to outside told you if you hurry, you may reach the <laughs>
hear something. There's a delay between I, when I hit my aura stuff and when things die. This is trapped, isn't it? Yep, it is. Oh well, no big deal. So I might rethink some of my builds with Warlock and try to get some more intelligence in there for a little bit more spell power. Not sure. It's always that balance between DPS and survivability. I've been putting the extra points into decks because that's a, a huge help for damage avoidance. I'm so excited to get out of giant hold after this. This one's the interesting trap, isn't it? Nope, it's not. Oh, I've had that trap that comes in from the doorway. A bunch of different angles. Kind of neat. Exterminator wound. Big key somewhere. Oh, 
I'm gonna search for it still, I guess. There he is. Got the key. Go ahead and see what's in this side real quick first. Yeah, look at chest. We even did crystal the other day, although I basically sat around and did nothing for a lot of it because I was lever puller. And then I didn't do the swim, so. Yeah, that's the problem with Crucible. It's really interesting, but it's really boring for half the party. Cordovan, did you have an update? If not today, then you uh, should have an update on his stream tomorrow. I know they were going, looking into doing it sometime this week if possible, but there was some snag last week or something. I didn't really catch the details. Are there too many healers? This guy's getting healed way too much. Alright guys, let's have a massage here. This week, the morning should be open. It's supposed to be open through the weekend. So if you want to test builds and stuff, you should be able to, hopefully, this week and weekend. that something dinged on over here. I don't see what it was. Are they coming yet? Talanus. Should be somewhere top right on the screen. Yeah, it's kind of at the end of my... Let's move it over here a little bit. Stop jumping. How about that? Is that a little better? Actually, while I'm here and waiting... Move this as well. All 
I really don't need the HTTP in that, I don't think. Let's just do that. It'll fit better. A commotion comes from the back there it goes. Actually, let's move it over here, top left. Oh, hey, it's up to kill you. Hey, city, how you doing? I'm actually my real hit points, that sucks. Let's take care of that. I'm be using my real hit points. So I got these temporaries. Talking with City about that Ranger build in uh, Gary's channel earlier. Oh, I think my chair hydraulic went down again. I might need a new chair. Hey, look, a bunch of guys to kill. Yay. Yeah, I've got over 300 of them, so I think I'm okay at the moment. Let's see if I get this chair back up. There we go. I was wondering why my wrist was hurting so bad. My chair was practically on the floor. Much better now. Um, I don't think you need bluff skill. I think there was an ability that auto bluffed for you. That said, I think he had, he said he had enough skill points because his intelligence was so high that he had. Of course, he had plus six tomes, so that helps as well. But there was a bunch of skill points you can put in whatever you want, really. Depending on how you want to play. Chunks, give me my chunks. Yeah, I'm fairly certain it was one of the uh, Deepwood Sniper ones or something that he used, one of the shots. I plan on putting that into the Character Builder Light at some point, just to play with it. Yay. What was this place? No, I was watching on Twitch, then I saw he posted on Twitter from YouTube as well, so it's on both places if you want to see it. I don't know if he pulled out the one on YouTube, but um, if you look at the longer of the two videos from today, the older one, it's about an hour and eight minutes into it is where he starts going over the build. Oh, I just saw your tweet. That the stream is having difficulties loading for you. 
I don't know why that would be. Um, yeah, I have no drop frames. Everything looks solid from my side. Yeah, not a problem. I kind of understood what he was doing and how he was doing it, so it wasn't a big deal to just tell you that. Because I understand the build. Once he showed it, I was like, oh, okay, I understand what he's doing. Dex damage and then the uh, other stuff. Let's see, where am I turning this in at? Back here. Where is it? There it is. We've got that one. I thought I did two. Where's the other one? Maybe that one. Yep, it's that one. Legendary victory. I'll take that. And then... You talk to Craig. There we go. So, next quest. Free as a VIP and a cheerleadist. Forty six thousand XP. Looks like my users are running decently. My test. So that's good. And they might be giants has a new kids album out. According to my email. All right, I'll come back to that at some point. Um, let me go ahead and talk to dude up here real quick. Isn't somebody up here I need to talk to? Nope. Oop. Hmm. Talk to somebody else, maybe? Um, the XP would put me over cap, so it doesn't make sense to take the XP right now. That and I've got a couple more quests I can do at level. So, yeah. Yeah, we need some uh, more renown for our guild. But if I'm going to do that, I don't know. I should probably do the, um, whatchamacallit, Forgotten Realms sagas and then take a pot and do them all at once if I do it that way so for now I'll just try to remember that I have that sitting there and not forget it because our guild is at 92 so that would help yeah I don't want to do some of that stuff yet trying to maximize some of my uh, bravery bonuses, but there seem to be quite a lot of quests you can do and uh, at lower levels to not have to worry about getting every last bit of XP out of each level. So I'm already banking. repair there. So 
So, yeah, if the entire guild, well, depending on the size of your guild, but still, if your entire guild just does sagas and takes pots and does that, then, uh, yeah, oh, hey, but to say link plus 13 isn't horrible. I guess I'll keep that for the moment. I've got a rogue or two that can probably use that at some point. Yeah, um, I'm using blah, 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 blah. Where is it? I got a link here somewhere. Let me find it. Yeah. Somewhere on my page here, I have the skin I'm using. I'm using uh, Blackbird, I think. I was going to deposit that. I was going to deposit those as well. And I guess I just deposit that and this and those. I don't need to use those at the moment. And there's my level 3 cleric permanent hireling from the starter kit. Which is really a good deal. Well, it was a good deal. I guess it still is if you don't have the quest pack. That's really all I wanted out of that. I already had the pack. Um, where did I say I was going? I was going to Archons, wasn't I? So I should go to Hall of Heroes. I have a... Well, where's the banker? Let's see if this is the character I have it on. It might not be. Might be my bard. Yeah, I think it's on my bard. I see a couple experience elixirs in here and some cakes. But I don't see the mass quantities I expected, so it's probably on my bard. Um, so I really don't use pots very often. I kind of stockpile them, and then if the guild is doing something like, oh, okay, if we're all doing that, then I'll go ahead and join in and do that. I normally don't use anything. Excuse me. These are all 13s or 14s, aren't they? I don't remember. Oh, and if these aren't, the other ones are. I'm mostly from chess and daily dice. I don't really get them anywhere else. And if I could see that, there it is. Yeah, level 13, so I need to do this now-ish to get the best. Yeah, I, I hate the mansion. I really don't like the mansion. The skiff brings you to the Archon stronghold, deep in the mountains of Shavarath. A trumpet Archon waiting at the landing site moves right. you over. Alright, let's do this. The let's get my buffs going. This one can be tough. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, not too bad. I've watched like Les's videos on how to do the mansion, and I've tried that, and I okay, it kind of works, but I still don't like it. Yeah, we'll see how I do this time. One of the astral devas beckons to you. The deva says. To myself lies the trial of agility. To the west, the mechanics path. 
Well, there are two paths, one if you're a rogue and one if you're not. I almost always do the not, and that jump is the worst out of the whole thing. This last jump up these stairs can be really a pain. You actually don't want too much jump for that part. And if you lag here, this can be undoable. And that happens a lot too, for some reason in here. You hit jump and nothing happens. It's not horrible most of the time, but I've had to wait like a half hour for a guildy to get through this part before. He just wasn't having any luck with it. Yeah, that wasn't fun for anybody. He was complaining of the storm. He was all frustrated, and we were just frustrated sitting here waiting for him. There's nothing really, really can do if somebody's lagging that hard. I mean, he's since upgraded his internet speed and his computer, so hopefully, if you run it again, it won't be so bad. But it was horrible. I love that there's short dialogue options you know, way through miles of text. Hunt down the invaders and slay them. Do this and it's complete. A keening howl echoes from the gateway above the stairs. Yeah, it's tar and it slows you down, which is even more fun because you're already lagging and slow behind everybody and then you fall on the tar and then you're slow moving and yeah, it just, I'm not trying to be down on the design, but if you lag, that's just, it's horrible. <laughs> it's not really any designer's fault that you lag, but it is not forgiving lag. See you later. Thanks for stopping by. I probably do want shining through again before I go up here. I could use it just a touch more light. Once I get into Stormhorns, I can get that. Big deal. Everything else good? Everything else is good. Go in here and face this next one.
tentacles is back before doing this next one. Oh. I'm using my tentacles a lot more in this one. Just makes these objectives easier to deal with. Doesn't matter if you stun me, my aura is still doing damage the entire time. That's something else I like about this build. Is I can stand there and be knocked down or whatever. And I have the defenses as well as the saves to just not take much damage while they're still taking damage from my aura and everything. So, where was that shrine? That far back? I didn't think it was that far back. Oh. I can maybe do one more quest. Two is kind of pushing it, but I can certainly do one. Uh, let's see. Get my hit points up, and then I can haste if I. Yeah, I probably should haste before that fight because that uh, one dude's pretty tough. Okay, if you're going to run out time, I'll deal with that. I mean, it's pretty dumb of you guys, but I can do that. Oh, look. He's coming in. Oh, that's a little stuck. succeeding. I kind of missed with those symbols. As the last of the invading demons dies, you hear a voice in your mind. You've done well. 
Playing your victory again. I'm doing pretty good on uh, Renown. For not having taken the Renown in the uh, saga. Definitely want to save that one. Because this part can suck. Tiana says, Next comes the Yes, this is fun. Let's see. Work your way past any obstacles and solve the puzzle that controls the final barrier. Yeah, if you didn't, I was going to send it to you. I'm glad you found it. Um, no, it's this one and that one. As the last puzzle piece clicks into place, one of the magical barriers surrounding you drops. I hate when I hit that too early because it stops your swinging. The guardian teleports out, and the magical wall in the chamber falls away, revealing another room beyond. All right, that's fine. This needs to get out of the way. to go that way. So... That will work for that. That has to go that way. Good there, and then all I have to do is this. Should be good. The large puzzle is complete, and one of the barriers ahead of you fades. Yeah, I almost don't want to spoil it for you. Um, the next part of it, because you really shouldn't see it before you experience it. Um, it's a lot more fun to experience the first time by yourself. Sorry, I've got a text that's a, a short video that I'm looking at of <laughs> two guinea pigs doing the uh, Lady in the Tramp thing with a piece of something or other. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, yeah, after this one, um, yeah. After I defeat the guys, after unlocking this one is when you want to not watch that part because you really shouldn't be spoiled the first time. It's such a fun way of doing things that they did. Keep in mind, this is the trial of intelligence, and there's certain things that go along with it being a trial of intelligence. All right, I'm not, I'm not braining this one, so let's see. Yeah, that's it. As the puzzle is completed, the path ahead Okay, this opens. part don't watch. Starting right now, don't watch. I'll give a couple seconds for that to get through, so there's no question about it. And, okay, you're still not watching. I'll do this part.
With the click of a button, the okay, that's it. Once again, hear the voice I'm done. Mind. You're more clever than you first appeared. The trial of There's a hard way to do that, and there's an easy way to do that. I, of course, took the easy way because I know what it is. But the first time you take the hard way, and it's just hilarious. Especially if you're in a party with people who are, haven't done it before. It's just amazing. A large angel with emerald skin hovers over the arena. She gestures to you. Yes, 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 come on. Welcome. I am Rien, champion of the Archons of Shavarath. You have passed all of the trials set before mm -hmm. you in order to reach this point. Yes, plot, plot, plot. I congratulate you. One final test awaits you. The trial. Ooh, they're showing through my hit points. It's not bad when you get down to just her, but the rest of these. Come on, let me move. I'm fine, I just need some time to, for Shiny 3 to repop. Oh, hello. I was hoping Sleetstorm would do a little bit of work for me and not just completely not do anything. Okay, got temporaries back up. I'm ready to put some of these guys down. Self healing. First! There we go. That'll help. Two, one, and... Oh, all those blade barriers. Whew. I might have to switch to... No, I can get... There you go, get out of the blade barriers for a second, this guy will kill you. I wonder if I can get some damage off that way. No. Nope. Alright, now I can concentrate on you. It shouldn't be nearly as bad. That fight is even worse with scaling. It's actually not too bad if you can survive the initial bit. Start taking them out. So I don't know, a lot of people seem to recall right here, and this thing is actually a portal. This Amrath teleporter that's sitting here. Looks like a angel wings thing. Or angel wings uh, storage rack or something. But anyway, it'll take you right back. Instead of waiting for recall and stuff to work. So. We are still doing good on time. I did that already. All right. 
Secure to the ground by colossal chains. I also love that the buff list is pretty short on this. I get tired of doing all those buffs on like my sorcerer and stuff. A portal forms in the courtyard before you. Demon reinforcements start to pour into the area. I'm going to do a bunch of iconic lives. Probably 10 Warlock, or 9 Warlock, 1 of the iconic, 9 or whatever life I'm getting. Let's see how that works for a couple times. The demons are determined to keep the code. My other warlock I play is quite a bit squishier in range, so I'm kiting a lot and doing that kind of thing, and it's just a different way to play than this, which is just wade right in and smack them down, which is a lot of fun too. Both can be fun. I wonder how I'm going to do with the blades this time. There's one thing over here where the blades don't go. All right, see you, Cordovan. There we go. Pop out for a little bit. They come towards me. Taunt, happy fun tentacles. You, sir, are a jerk. I can see because you have the jerk gun over your head. I'm gonna go heal for a second here. There we go. It's also handy if you do that. And, uh, if, even if you die, you're right here by a shrine, so it's not a big deal. I'm just going to have them come over here and find where I want to fight. left. Okay. Don't care. That's why I have it on the public group, because I really don't care to manage the party. People want to join, hey, they can join. That's cool, but I don't want to manage the whole thing. Thank you. 
nicely boxed me in there. Or rather, rudely boxed me in, I should say. track of where we are in the waves. Shavaras blades drift away. Yet before you can catch your breath. Well, see? See, you should just stay here the entire time. Just glue your eyes to the bottom. Family way, be sure. Sometimes you wonder if you're just talking to yourself. You just have to shrug and go, yeah, probably, oh well. Keep doing it anyway. It's nice to have positive confirmation. I told you to look away for like 20 seconds and I was back. I said, okay, I'm back, I'm done. trying to get my attention, but I don't see anything. Guys, message. Hey, I don't know what's going on. Let's see if I'm going to be getting beat up. Blocking the gate leading to the ruins above the courtyard. Now that I have their attention. Close to still get his playing stuff on my iPad. Which, by the way, by the way, Lords of Waterdeep is awesome on the iPad. It works really well. I'm happy with it. It's such a balanced game. Even when I win, I win by like two points. You really gotta be right there on the edge. To get Yeah, they do. And two expansions too. It was on sale for the holiday week and it was I got it fairly cheap. Plus both expansions they have for it. Which I haven't played yet. But yeah, it's really worth getting. It's such an awesome game. It plays really well. I don't know about multiplayer, but in the computer it plays really well. It would really help if I played it before I actually played the more version of the screens and videos. No. 
No, they don't. That's kind of why I got the iPad. Because I had a couple of Android tablets, and some of the board games I wanted to play just weren't available. Which is annoying. But uh, yeah, that's why I went ahead and got the iPad, finally. I held out for quite a while. Finally decided I'm going to play those board games. I like playing like a cool uh, pandemic. Well, what else I got? There's several. There's a really nice list on Board Game Geek of all the board game translations to iPad. What I'm using for reference? Yeah, really. Yeah, I would have liked to have them on Android, but uh, they weren't available. So I have an iPad Mini 2 that I just got something like a month ago or something. I don't remember how long it's been. Oh, should I do the optional? Yes, I should do the optional. I should do the Merilith. So when you have this in this quest, in this point in the quest, when you get to the shrine and do the mask, if you go left, that's the end. But if you go right, come back up here, there's an optional. That's worth doing, I think. Oh, you know what? I could really use that shrine. I didn't even realize. Hmm. I got land hands left. I am at the bottom. Now, let's go ahead and do it. I think it'll be worth it. So yeah, um, I'm actually playing some, they have the old classic game Warlords on there, and I'm playing that. A game called Guardian Sword that's pretty fun. It's a different kind of matching game that's a kind of role-playing feel to it. Um, I can't remember what else I'm playing. It's all so new. So I just sort of played a couple of things. Let's see, I got that, got that. Let's go ahead and haste. The rough human leads deeper into the That could have been. Yeah, I don't know. I've had it for a little while. I don't really know how long. It's still the new device, so. Except for the frustrations of getting it set up. It's an inconsistent things like, you know, Android, you always have your back button. You know where it is. iOS doesn't have that. It's weird. Because, you know, you would think with as much attention they supposed to pay design and stuff, they would have done something because it makes a lot of sense. But they don't. And it's really annoying. I'm just able to go back whenever I want to. in their shrine that's cool i forgot about that this foul prison guards the far end of the chamber the only thing i've really heard about android is that it's because they didn't restrict as like i always did that there's a lot of fragmentation so things are a little weird But yeah, I would definitely much rather see some Android, better Android support, regardless of the reasons.
is occupied so I can actually kill this jerk. I've heard my fair share of horror stories from iOS slides too. They just check different paths the same stuff, so. You've got different stuff happening. The page from the Codex of Infinite Planes hums with magic energy. But you can make nothing of the strange rooms that cover it. You should return to Amra and show it. Six forty seven. I guess I can do one more. I don't know if I want to do devil's details, though. That takes a while. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Just to get it done. I wonder if I could stealth it. That would be interesting. Probably really not. A deep pool of foul water lies at the foot of the Devil's Fortress. This must be the hidden entrance that Davis spoke of. I've looked into coding some stuff a couple times and it just doesn't interest me. You found your way inside the fortress. Now to investigate like... Tracus's plan. I don't like object generating programming to begin with. Much more procedural. So that's part of my issue. At some point, I'd like to create something, just to say I have. I mean, after all, I just taught myself PowerShell, so... And that was kind of ridiculous, some of the way that works. It's a weird mix of DOS and DBA. Microsoft horrible. Yeah, Microsoft's horrible syntax. Oh my god. I don't know how to get anything done. A lot of horrible syntax choices. Oh, you can use you know the dot property for an object on this, but you can't use it on that for no apparent reason. Okay. Why? How does that make sense? It doesn't. Uh, another puzzle to look at. Sure. At one point I had this memorized. It's still not bad. This isn't a lever, is it? It looks like a lever, but it's not. You know, I don't mind coding from time to time. I mean, that's part of my job, but it's part of my job. It's not my whole job. I don't want to be a full-time developer. It just doesn't interest me. Yeah, exactly. It's just... Actually, I was watching Patrick Rothfuss play Fallout 4 last night, and the way he was describing how they had a bunch of people come in and write these, or pitch these individual stories, but there was never any overarching person in charge of tying them together so they feel isolated and separate instead of a combined story that's exactly how i feel a lot of microsoft products are you got people pitching individual things and okay yeah we'll do that but there's nobody coming looking back and saying you know what we really should do is Do all of this the same way and consistently so it feels like the same thing. No, not necessarily even episodic. It's just fractured and fragmented. It's, it's not. It's like reading a. Um, you know, one of those books where they have a bunch of different authors writing in the same sort of. ideas. 
Yeah. It's just, it's fractured. People are concentrating their own little bits and they don't see how things fit in the hole. And you have things like stupid garbage file import open dialogues that I've been dealing with a lot lately. They're just ridiculous. They're old. They look like Windows 3.1 kind of dialogue. Alright, can't you upgrade those? The file import in Excel in particular has always bothered me. Hey Titan, what's up? Because, uh, yeah, it's just, it hasn't been updated in 20 years. It's like by now, we have enough community power, you should be able to tell me when I try to open a file, what format is it? You should be able to say, oh, hey, look, there are a bunch of tabs in it. It's probably tab delimit, or hey, but there's a bunch of commas in it. It's comma delimit, or hey, it's got columns because everything's spaced out this way. No, it doesn't. It still asks you every step of the way. It's like, hey, there's a comma and then a double quote. That means that you should import a double quote and just import it that way. No, it asks you and makes you select that. Why? Makes no sense. Have you heard, Hatherell? That way. Says the succubus. We're leaving. Eretrakos has ordered us to accompany him. I'm like, you know, I don't, I have an interest, a very strong interest in user experience, user interface, usability, kind of stuff. It's not really anything I have gone to school for or had to do my job or anything, but I, I'm just interested in that. And so I've got definite opinions on things that don't work for me, that aren't intuitive. Yeah, every time I've messed with Linux personally, it just hasn't done anything for me because really there's not much game support, and that's a lot of what I do. That said, I've got a Steam box incoming, so. Or Steam machine, whatever they call them. Let's see, is this the one that's hidden? Or is the next one that's hidden? Or can I not even see it, so it doesn't matter? So it was an interesting, you know, thought exercise, but I never did anything with any of them. That's the hidden. I knew it was around here somewhere. Ooh, I can actually see it. That's amazing. Did not think I could see it. It's locked anyway. Doesn't matter. Variant and Below stands I'm looking forward to see. To I'm missing a puzzle or something, aren't I? It's time for us yeah, there is. Of course, Master, says the tiefling. Yet, what is there for us on Eberron? It is Shadrath right. we seek to conquer. Take the most obvious ones and figure it out from there. This looks like it'll work. A deep rumbling sound reverberates okay. in the courtyard. I the missed one of the uh, plot points. No, I didn't. Okay. I just didn't show right away. See, I'm looking forward to playing with the Steam Box and see Steam Machine, Steam Box, whatever, and see what it's going to be doing for me. Uh, all right. Check my test real quick. Um, refresh this, and this, and this. I already have that on, so I'm good there.
And I also have a NVIDIA Shield that I got for Christmas. Um, I know that's what it is, because it's about the only thing I have. But I'll see how that works. I'm interested in seeing how that plays. I want to play something on from Steam remotely. It's on another TV or something in another room. Now that I have a desktop again, I don't have to worry about Eritrea actually being in front of it. Is our next and I think I'm also getting a Steam Link with the Steam Controller, so I'll have a couple options there. I just got a new Roku that was on sale. I just got a new Smart TV. All sorts of fun. Bye, Harry. I want the shield tablet too. I'm getting the Android TV shield. Now they re-released it. See, that was the thing that really that happened that was, you know. It was really annoying. So I wanted to get the shield tablet, right? Well that's when they had the battery issue. They issue and they discontinued or they recalled them discontinued. What? Why would you do that right when I was ready to buy? My previous tablets had gotten they were pretty much unusable. They were really slow and not working well. And uh, so it didn't happen, didn't happen, didn't happen. So I finally said, all right, fine, you win. I'll go get the iPad. And then like the end of the month after I got the iPad, oh, hey, guess what's back in stock? We re-released them when, with a new version and it's even better and blah, blah, blah. Oh, you jerks. You jerk. Absolute jerks. So. Yeah. So this will be my third Android TV. I've really tried Android TVs. And uh, so far they haven't worked that great. I had that uh, Logitech review first. And then I had a... Oh, that's an interesting. Radiance Great Acts of Kinetic Lore. That's pretty cool. Uh, no. No. I don't have a renown option. No. No. Alright, false life 30 loop. Um, so the the shield is my next try at Android. Or then I had a, um, Ouya. I kickstarted the heck out of that and was really disappointed by it. And uh, now I'm going to have a shield. So we'll see how that works. Between the Steam machine and the uh, shield and the uh, Steam Lake, sorry. I should be set for being able to play games from here on other stuff. Because even if I can't directly play it on the Steam machine, I can uh, stream it. So, we'll see. Yeah, I had a transformer tablet and then I had a Nexus tablet and I really preferred the smaller Nexus tablet than the bigger transformer. So that's why I got the iPad mini too is because I wanted the smaller tablet not the bigger one. And it's just about right. The aspect ratio is a little weird still to me. but It's actually not bad. I'll store that away for somebody. Alright, get rid of that John. Did I repair? Yeah, I had I still had the first version of the seven and it just 
got to the point where I couldn't do anything without it taking like five minutes. It was ridiculous. Let's see anything else I need to do here now? I need to bank some stuff. So, um, yeah, I want to still want the shield tablet. But other than that. <clears throat> I think I'll stick with the iPad for now. Especially since I was playing uh, Fallout Shelter and my save got nuked when I... Because uh, I thought, you know, Google Play is supposed to save your games, right? Well, evidently there was an update to actually save your games to the cloud that didn't happen before... I mean, it, it happened, but it didn't install by when I redid my Nexus 7, so I lost my save for Fallout Shelter, which really annoyed me since I spent money on that a little bit. They had a holiday sale and I got some Mr. Handies. Anyway. Other than that, they still work. It's just, I'm going to probably just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I can't say because I really don't know. In any case, I think I am done for the evening. So thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. I haven't heard from Skunk or Queen if we're doing the uh, Kanith run tomorrow evening or not, so we'll see. It also might depend on how awake I am after being up tonight and then probably having to be in the office tomorrow. So we'll see, but uh, in case, I appreciate you watching. Uh, catch you again next Tuesday or if not before, and uh, thank you. Good night. <laughs>